For those lucky enough to keep their jobs and work from home, you might wonder if you can catch a break when you do your taxes this year. As Brad Underwood reports, you only need to ask yourself one question to get the answer. At the beginning of the pandemic, most employees around the country began to work from home. Using your home as the office may seem like a slam dunk for a tax break. Obviously, with everything that's going on in the world right now, a lot of people are saying, yes, I am. Great. Then the second the second kind of drop down on the flow chart from there is, are you an employee? And if the answer is yes, right there, you cannot deduct anything in your home for a, a home office deduction. Mark Bell is an assistant professor and director of the Master of Tax program with the University of Cincinnati. He says it's pretty cut and dry when it comes to the home office deduction. Bottom line, end of the day, what you need to do, you need to own your own business. The other requirement is there must be a separate room or at least a specific area dedicated exclusively to work. So while I am working here at my computer, you turn here, there's a kid toy, a pool table, more kid toys, a yoga mat, a TV. All of that means that this workspace will not count as a home office. That's actually historically the one that trips up most people who are employers. Uh, the regular and exclusive use, that's the one that kind of people think, oh, I can do it. And then you find out, no, I can't. But if you are self-employed and can prove the exclusive workspace, you can receive $5 per square foot of your workspace as part of the home office tax deduction. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. All right, Brad, post-pandemic, I want to invite to the basement. I want to see that pool table there in person. The IRS will begin processing taxes next week. The deadline to file is April 15th. Mm.